Let's walk through how to use PowerShell to list all the drive mappings from a group policy object. So in case you ever, ever looked at a group policy object that has a lot of drive maps in it, it can take a long time to click through them all. And in fact, it can take so long that it's faster to write a script. So let's walk through how to do it. So here on line 12, I got the name of my GPO. I'm going to send that to the GPO name variable. And then we've got this handy command that called get GPO report. And if we give it the name of the GPO and tell it what type we want, it'll actually output the entire group policy object. So in this case, XML, not so user friendly, but it is PowerShell friendly. So we can actually cast that data as an XML object by using the XML tag in front of our variable here, line 18. So I'm going to pass that to the variable. Now, if we look at that variable, variable, we can now see an object representation of that XML data. Perfect. We can work with that in PowerShell. So if we look at .gpo, we can see our GPO data. And since a drive map is a user setting, we'll look at user. And this group policy object doesn't have a lot going on in it. So we're going to look at, so there's not a lot here, but we know it's an extension data. So we'll look at extension data. And we've got a couple of things here, the environmental variables and the drive maps. Well, we care about the drive maps. So I'm going to pipe that to the where object commandlet to only get the drive maps and look at the extension property. And here's where we look at the drive map settings. Uh, we can see that we got our drives there under the drive property. So I'm going to take drive map settings and assign that to its own variable and look at the drive property of that variable. Oh, there we go. So there, there's, there's where we got our map drives entries. So you can see the name is X. That's the name that I gave them because that's the letter that it's going to be using. I'm going to grab just the first drive maps out of there and assign it to the drive variable. And if we look at the, the properties of that drive map, here's where we've got, we've got our letter, We've got our path, we got our label, uh, the action. And so this is where all that information is it's, that we want to be able to pull easily. And then also, if you're using any kind of item level targeting, uh, that'll be under the filters property. And so you can see here on this one, I've got a filtering by a group. So I'm using the security group option under item level targeting. And so we can look at that using the filter group property and see which group that is filtering for. So in this case, it's just the accounting group. All right, so that's all the information we need to be able to write a function for that. So we've got the function written already. And the name of I've chosen is just get GPO drive maps. So the parameter is the name of the GPO, then line 42, you can see we're getting a report. 43, our drive map settings like before. And then 44, I'm looping through each of those drive map entries and grabbing line 45 and 46. If it's got a filter group, I'm grabbing that. If not, I'm just setting groups equal to no. And then I'm returning a custom object here, line 50 to 55, where I'm grabbing the, the letter of the drive map, the path, the groups, if there are any, and the order. So then we'll make sure we load this into our session here. And so now if we run the git gpo drive maps commandlet for the name of our group policy object, we should see that we've got two drive maps. So one's for accounting, one's for IT, one's for a boring folder, and one's for a fun folder. So let's look at accounting here is order one, groups accounting. The folder is the boring folder. So if you don't believe me that this actually is what we're looking at, let's pull this up here. So I've got my boring folder entry, order one. So look at the properties of this. And we can see that it is the letter of X. That's what we wanted. If we go to the item level targeting, under security groups, we can see that it is filtering for the accounting group. So that's just to demonstrate that that script is accurate. So that is how you list the drive maps from a group policy object using PowerShell.